Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you for staying with us. Now, unlike most ordinary individuals, visual and fine art creatives are often misunderstood by society. Nevertheless, they produce artwork that send messages of inspiration, stirs up conversations, and leave the audience to come up with their interpretations of the art pieces before them. Lazy Hound's solo exhibition takes, uh, is taking place this afternoon at the 13th floor gallery in Johannesburg. It is said to do just that. Joining us in studio is Matthijs Lieshout, the founder and director of the 13th floor gallery together with the artist Lazy Hound. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. And maybe Lazy Hound, let's start with you. Just talk about uh, today's exhibition and kind of the inspiration behind it. Uh, basically, the show is about uh, hazard addiction on how we actually choose words that we, that we use in our everyday conversations, especially towards other people. Mm. And uh, we look at how those uh, offensive words can affect other people and hurt them. So we kind of use them, uh, using them directly, like mm. in a post-like kind of manner. So words are taking over the artwork. I would say uh, the artwork takes a 50%, uh, and, then, uh, and then words also take their part. But it's mostly about words. Well, that's quite interesting that we, we often, if, it doesn't matter who we are and in which role we play, whether we're the father, the brother, the mother, whether we are the boss or whether we're interacting on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't really think of the impact of words. Yes. That's insane. Oh, yeah. And it, for you, what was it about Lazy House Exhibition that said we need to have it at 13th Floor Gallery? Uh, well, for me, as a gallerist, it's very simple. If I walk into somebody's studio and I see a winner, I'm like, shit, you know, <laughs> we're going to work with this guy. And from that moment onwards, like the whole concept of the exhibition, I let the artist speak. Yeah. I think it's, it's uh, the gallery we have gives unusual freedom to the artist. You, you basically get carte blanche. I'm not going to check on you, like, what are you yeah. going to do? It's, no, it's, it's very intuitive. I see the stuff, I think, shit, <laughs> we need this guy. We need a solo show with him. And, yeah, then he works. That freedom that Matthijs talks about, it is a little bit unusual to have a, a gallery sitting back and saying, you know what, I, I want to give you freedom to go where you need to go. Did you feel that freedom? Or were you saying, okay, well, I still want at the end of the day, whoever comes to this exhibition, to walk out with an orchestrated message? Or do you want them to find their own message? I want people to find meaning, their own meaning, before mine uh, overpowers uh, their thinking or their interpretation of the work. But mostly, uh, if the gallery gives you that kind of freedom, you kind of feel free to actually express in whichever way you want. Mm. Plus, uh, this exhibition is not like um, purely solo. Mm. It's more on a collaborative level because every piece that is there, I didn't do it alone. Okay. I had artists such as uh, Good Lord Shoisa, uh, and Tsigi Tuluana, and Tsiga Tuluana, and I have uh, Matthew Chuma, I have uh, Azai Langa, and I have James Shield, uh, who's also from the USA in California. So, you know, you kind of have uh, this kind of expression where you have uh, like five artists working uh, in the studio at the same time, uh, discussing similar subjects. So you find it um, when I'm collaborating with a uh, good lord, and then comes here as I learn, I'm suggesting color mm. or the impact of this work, you know. So uh, it's kind of that interactive process is also freedom itself because mm. it's a... Um, it's when spirits cooperate and, and, and great minds also come into one piece and think alike, you know, mm -hmm. and then the show becomes a success. The one benefit of doing this show is that whenever I think things have been done, I meet a new artist who goes somewhere completely different. How is this the level of creativity? Because you, you have the benefit of coming from Holland, but being based here now. Yes. If you had to compare the two, where are we in terms of that level of creativity? If or is it a unique point that you can't? Compare the two. If you would compare like the European mm. art scene with the Joburg art mm. scene, uh, in many ways I think the, the Joburg has a very uh, distinct flavor in mm. art that I wouldn't be able to find in the European countries. Like um, quality-wise, I, I don't see a, a, a big difference. Mm. There's, there's good artists here, there's good artists there, but the art here, uh, Lazy Hans art, I wouldn't have found it in Amsterdam. It's, 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 wow. it's distinctly from this city, I mm. think. Yeah, uh, we are also distinctly a, a, a metro gallery. 
mm. all the art we have somehow connects to Joe Burke. Mm. Maybe not very literally, maybe you can't, can't draw a very straight line, mm. but it is there and people recognize it. Mm. So I'm very happy to be right in the center. I think it's the right spot for collaborations like mm. Lazy Hound is doing now. So talk to me about that being, being from Johannesburg and, and kind of understanding, is, are we, are we fo are creatives focused on words or is it just something that you thought that there's, an, there's, a, there's something more than just what we're saying to each other and how we interpret it, what we read, how we collect it? You know, uh, Joburg as a city is uh, a, an urban jungle and you find a lot of languages there, you find a lot of foul words being used and exchanged, uh, especially in the CBD, mm. you know, uh, yeah, there's very much strong ways there, you know, mm. uh, and they're offending people, you know, there's a lot of Makorekwera around, Gongongos, you know, go all the way to you being a Zulu, being called, uh, I mean, anything, or you're closer, you being called a liar or anything, um, you find processes all over the city, mm. and you want to interpret that because it's part of your everyday life, I mean, um, I never even cook. Uh, I just eat junk. I mean, so part, all of that thing uh, it contributes to your life because mm. you live in a city and all these things are happening and you're part of it. Whether jobbing is going down, you know that you're also part of the contribution because sure. one way or another, you are, you are supporting whatever that's happening. You're part of it. Let me throw this question at both of you because I think, um, and then we'll wrap this interview. But at the moment, we've got such a huge debate around xenophobia. Yes, and it is. I mean, we've seen the visuals on screen, people fighting each other, misunderstanding each other. I think this, this exhibition is so relevant at the moment. Was that, was that part of the conversation or was it just coincidental that you're having this amazing exhibition on while we are at the moment dealing with identity? What well, I think sometimes things just fall into place. Mm. For example, uh, the gallery also has a blogger. The blogger is Nigerian. Mm. Uh, he's going to write about what's happening now. Yeah. We can't pretend that nothing is going on. I have mm. a Nigerian blogger. The guy told me, yeah, basically they're protesting against me. I'm stealing a job. You could have hired a South African blogger, right? So let's be relevant. You know, sometimes things just fall into place. This exhibition with Hazardous Diction, yeah. the Nigerian writer, uh, uh, there, there's probably not coincidences. That's, sure. uh, we're, we're, uh, I think we're on spot. I'm going to give you the last 20 seconds. Oh, yes. Uh, this exhibition, uh, we also have a piece that discusses xenophobia, which is called uh, Just Another Foreigner, um, which expresses views also uh, and acts that we do, uh, animalistic acts, where, where we actually act inhumane. Mm. Um, it's part of the, the show also. There are installations we have on the show that are, are really questioning a lot of things that we do as humans. And wow. yeah. So, this really sounds uh, like the exhibition to go to. Guys, yeah. thank you very much for joining me in studio. Mateus Leso, the founder and director of the 13th Floor Gallery, along with uh, uh, Lazy Hound, who is the artist. He has got a solo exhibition, but it is in collaboration with other artists. Please go and check it out. It's in the center of Johannesburg. Just Google the details. Let's all start this conversation. Take an hour break. Thank you.